fought because I love, I loved it. You know, I remember when, when I fought in that submission underground thing, Tails first one, I remember the, the email or text message he sent me. It's like, I got an opportunity for you. Jake Shields, no money. I remember thinking, <laughs> well, no money. And I was like, uh, how can I pass up the chance to get to go against Jake Shields in a grab? I'm in, you know? And he was like, really? I'm like, yeah, I mean. You surprised him? <laughs> yeah. I was like, well, how can I pass that opportunity up? Yeah. And that's why I think you talk about like real fighters. Like I know Jeremy would want to fight the best just because how, how are you going to get that opportunity? Go in there with the best. Why not? You know, it's, it's yeah. a grappling match. I don't care if I lost a grappling match. I did. So, but it was an opportunity to go in there. And that was the thought, you know, I, I want to go. And I, like, like Jeremy said, I never didn't train. I was in the gym every day, no matter what. Um, I don't know if I just didn't want to get out of shape or I just love being in the gym and training, but I just, I, I, I never miss. That was just not going to be an option. Um, and, and I was more, I would say like Rocky four type training, like carrying bricks. It's like, not, not like that, but just, just hard training. Like I don't have to have a nutritionist. And I, I, if you don't know how to eat healthy, you're yeah, you're an idiot. That chocolate cake, you can't eat, you know, that, that beer, you can't drink. That, that chicken breast, you can probably eat it. You know what I mean? So if you can't figure that out, I don't know what we're talking about here. And and I've been an athlete and working out my whole life. I, I don't know how to lift weights. And this is funny. I do remember when I went on the Ultimate Fighter. I remember the, the first day, it's like, okay, we're doing uh, plyometrics. And I was like, plyometrics. What is, is this carpentry? you speak yeah. about? <laughs> and they're like, you don't do plyometrics? I'm like, no. They're like, how do you? How do you even make it here, Chris? I'm like, I don't know. You know, I just, but then you I, pick, I picked plane. up on, <laughs> I carry rocks, you know, I'm like, I, but I picked up on how to do plyometrics. And I picked up, you know, if you don't pick up on little things, you're not very smart. But I mean, you know, fortunate or unfortunate for me, I never really had the option to go all over the country and train. Like I was a fireman for Indianapolis and I had four kids. I was locked in, you know, I would go to my gym every day and train. Or I might go to one of those, you know, um, I remember Acceleration Indiana where they had me on treadmills doing sprints. I did like like cardio stuff and I would go to, uh, but I'd get sponsorship for that. But I mean, I, it just, I, I think Jeremy is accurate. You don't need to go spend tons of money. And if you do that, you maybe you're at the high, high end. Like if you're fighting for a title, maybe you need to. But if you're, if you're a prelim guy at the UFC, I, I wouldn't advise you to go, you know, get three coaches and fly them all down to Brazil. That's crazy. Well, well Jeremy, you, you were one of the, obviously the main coaches at, you know, one of the greatest gyms in the world at the time, the military fighting systems. And did those guys ever kick up to you and give you a percentage for all the hard work you put in? No. Probably never it, even I mean, asked. It wasn't, it, it wasn't expected. Like, I mean, I was, I was there training with my team. It wasn't, it wasn't really like, I'm the head of the table and you guys are all paying me. I was fighting. I was making money. I didn't pay them. They were my training partners. Mm. You know, we were all training together. Hmm. I mean, it was so, just a club of people that wanted to train together. You know, Jeremy, you, you had mentioned that, you know, getting check out the full interview on iTunes, Spotify, and all major podcast platforms.